It's the 7th a.m. Monday, 6th of June, 2022. And I've just written this, the chorus section of this song. Let's see how it goes. Should be up there. Just a chorus, and I'm still working on it. Of course, uh, it's the first time uh, I've played it through with the recording, as you can see. So, I've written quite a lot there. And I made the first rough draft immediately when I woke up on a scrap of paper, which I'll put into my notebook. Um, and there's still two or three verses that I've written but not played yet. So there it is, I'm John Rockwell. And Heavenly Father, we commit this day to you. We thank you for those who watch and listen to, to my channel, your channel, Lord, that you entrusted to me on YouTube. And I'm so thankful for what God has done in my life. So thankful for uh, the ability to reflect when we go through life's trials. Um, it's so important to be able to, to reflect on what God is doing in our lives. And this sensitivity of heart is something that is available to each one of us most especially as Christians, don't just accept salvation as an accomplished fact, even though it is, but we're to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So, yes, Jesus did it all on the cross. He accomplished for all eternity the cancelled sin of the whole world. But for us to appropriate it, for us to live it, to us to own it, it has to be a daily choice of surrender to Jesus. There's no other way. And what concerns me within the body of Christ, within the church, are those who seem to think that 
salvation happened at a point in time in their life and that that was almost like a get out of jail free card you know like a monopoly you get I, I've got to get out of jail free I'm out I can keep playing the game but the thing is you see the rules have changed we're not called to play the game that the world has yeah, it's a get out of jail, but it's not a get out of jail card free. It's a get out of jail that cost Jesus his very life on the cross. That is the difference. And when we realize what Jesus paid, the price he paid for us on the cross to set us free, to get us out of jail, out of spiritual and material and and mental bondage the bondage to self-will the bondage to self-desire the bondage to our own vision and purpose that is contrary to the perfect will of God in our life when we realize it costs Jesus his entire life then our response surely is going to be Lord Jesus, you did that for me, and now I am your vessel, your clay pot, if you like. Use me as you will, not as I will. A couple of weeks ago, some of you will know, I was in Liverpool, and I did some, I, I got up on a flower bed and preached the gospel in the same spot, as close as I can find it, to the very spot on Church Street, Liverpool, where I preached around 35 or 40 years ago even, and was pulled down by police and thrown into a holding cell, had to go to court and everything, and um, for preaching, they said I was causing an obstruction, which of course I wasn't, that's beside the point. Um, and myself and Wenna Perry, Welsh friend or an evangelist, we were both thrown into the prison cell. The reason I mention this is because what happened that day, and I didn't share this on the video, but thank you those who watched the video because it had a, quite a few views. I preached and people looked, but I didn't really react or respond that much. One or two people did, but otherwise they just walked on by. I came down from my preaching perch, which is live on YouTube, up there somewhere. And as I walked down the street, there was a young lady in her early 20s, I guess. And she was singing with just a guitar and backing tracks. And I stopped and I waited and I listened and I tapped my feet and then pretty soon a crowd of people came and it was a circle of crowd a crowd of people and I realized that she was drawing people by her music in a way that my preaching hadn't and that sort of got me to think and so this song that I've written today which I woke up and it just was in my heart and I had to grab a piece of paper very quickly and write down the essence of it and I've been working on it for the last two hours. It's seven, it's ten past seven right now in the morning, Monday morning. Um, and what I want to get across with this particular song is to encourage people to sing their faith in Jesus Christ to sing their commitment to Jesus Christ because these songs that the Lord gives me I don't know where they come from except by the Holy Spirit and I believe he's giving them to me so I can take them to the streets this summer or whenever it's up to the Lord or maybe for others to take to the street and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ in a way hopefully will attract people and will cause them to consider again the offence of the cross. 
It's not the offence of the way we preach, it's the offence of the cross that Jesus, this perfect human, perfect God, perfect human, had to suffer and die on the cross, tortured in a point in history, so that we could enter into the liberty of the children of God, that we could be reunited with our Father God in spirit and truth. And that's why uh, this song that literally I've just uh, tried to tune out for the very first time there on the guitar so I can capture it and work on it a bit more. That's why in a roundabout way I just want to encourage you to this day make your commitment to follow Jesus Christ and to renounce the world and all its empty promises to renounce self to renounce the last of the eyes, what's so attractive, the last of the flesh, what we feel, what we sense, and the boastful pride of life. You know, when we find ourselves following the pride of life, pride in our possessions, pride in our status, pride in our position at work or our income or our perfect families, who's got a perfect family? All these things, brothers and sisters, lay them at the foot of the cross, come to Jesus and say, not my will, that yours be done. Amen. And for those of you that have been listening for all this time, I'm going to venture to try to play the main verses. I literally have not ever played this at all. I'm going to take it down to Capo 3. I was at 5. And I've never played this before, so I don't even have chords or anything for it. Um, and we'll see what happens. Now I'll go back to 5. Here we go. And no, I must choose this day. Oh, my will, sir. I know that I must choose this day. There's passing well. Today, my selfish self, for good God's will for me, I'll deceiver all his majesty. Amen. Just be. 
Jesus Christ Say all is well They bow So today I make my pledge to you To Jesus I now bow To love you and come be my king God and thank you so much for watching today. Share the video. You can share the song as well if you wish. Um, it'd be nice if you gave me credit for it, but most will give credit to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and love you. Amen.